वेलकम टू फ्यूचर्स ऑप्शन एट्सेट्राट्स ऑनलाइन ऑप्शन ट्रेडिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स यू कैन ऑल्सो विजिट अस ऑन अवर वेबसाइट डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट फ्यूचर्स ऑप्शन एट्सेट्रा डॉट कॉम और फॉर एनी स्पेशल ट्रेनिंग नीम्स यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट अस एट ट्रेनिंग एट द रेट फ्यूचर्स ऑप्शन एट्सेट्रा डॉट कॉम फॉर डेडिकेटेड ट्रेडिंग ट्यूटोरियल सेशन यू कैन ऑल्सो विजिट अस ऑन अवर वेबसाइट दैट्स एच टी टी पी कॉल एन स्लैश स्लैश फ्यूचर्स ऑप्शन एट्सेट्रा डॉट कॉम्स वेर यू फाइन अ लॉट ऑफ आर्टिकल्स एक्सप्लेन विद पे ऑफ फंक्शन डिटेल्ड एग्जाम्पल्स एंड ग्राफ्स ऑन हाउ टू ट्रेड ऑप्शन यूजिंग डिफरेंट ऑप्शन स्ट्रेटजीज There's also a search feature available on this website where which you can use to search for your desired option strategy and browse through the results. In this set of video we'll see how to trade a long put option. Long put option is tradable when you expect the underlying stock price to go down. So here is the scenario. Uh assume that i been stock is currently trading at dollar 50 per share and you believe that i been stock price will fall down to say around 30 dollars or even lower in the next two months time so what all options do you have to trade this particular trading scenario first option is that you can go for short selling the ibm stock itself not the ibm option but the actual stock so you are short selling it at dollar 50 and assume that your prediction comes true and ibm stock price actually reaches dollar 30 so what will happen is that your profit would then be dollar 20 per share in terms of percentage it is uh, $20 divided by $50 that's 40% profit the other option that you have is list in choice 2 that you actually buy uh, ibm stock put option uh, with a strike price of dollar 50 and an option premium of dollar 5 so this is the amount of money dollar 5 which is listed as an option premium that you pay to get into this ibm stock put option so assume that your prediction comes true and ibm stock actually reaches 30 dollar and hence your option premium reaches 25 dollar so your profit then comes to 25 minus 5 that's dollar 20 per option in terms of percentage Net profit divided by net capital, which is twenty divided by dollar five, you are making a four hundred percent profit. So now compare these two cases. The first case where you are actually short selling the IBM stock, you are able to make only forty percent profit. But in case of a short put option, in case of a long put option, you are able to get get around four hundred percent profit. Uh, another benefit of trading long put option as compared to a short stock is that in case of shorting a stock you will need to keep some margin money with your broker that itself is an uh, increase in capital requirement however in case of this put option only thing you need to keep with your uh, or, or pay for trading this option is option premium of dollar 5 so there again this kind of bearish scenario uh, provides a better trading opportunity in terms of put option rather than going for a shorting of ibm stock option now let's see the pay off functions for this particular uh, long put option so assume that we are assume that we are going for a uh, a uh, strike price of dollar 50 for a long put option and uh, this is how the pay off function for this particular uh, stock option would look like so what this tells me is that if the underlying stock price that is ibm stock price remains above dollar 50 which is this region then i will not get anything as a long put option buyer because in this region above 50 200 and above in this region we have got a horizontal line which is at zero so this uh, scenario where the ibm stock price will end up in this region then i am not going to get anything however if the stock price of ibm falls below dollar 50 then i am going to res- start receiving profits that's in case of uh, stock price reaching 40 i'll make 
ten dollars as profit. In case of stock price reaching twenty, I'm going to make thirty dollars as profit. In case IBM goes completely bankrupt and the stock price reaches uh, zero, then I'm going to make fifty dollars as profit. However, this particular maroon graph does not account for price that we have to pay for this particular option. So here, as you can see, we have paid an option premium of dollar five. So now let's account for that option premium by shifting this maroon graph downwards. Since we have paid uh, the dollar five as option premium, this is a net outflow from our pocket. Since we are giving away money, this amount for negative, uh, this amount goes uh, is treated as negative. So uh, this entire maroon graph. Will be shifted downwards by dollar five, and how will it then look? Is dollar five minus five here? So anything which is zero will shift to minus five. That would be uh, like this, and this horizontal uh, slanting line, which is starting at fifty and coming down to zero, would actually now starts at forty-five and join this. Dollar line here. So this is how the uh, long put option payoff function will look like, considering the dollar five price that we have paid. Now let's look at the profit scenario. Uh, in this particular example, we have uh, mentioned uh, that the prediction comes true and IBM stock price reaches dollar thirty. So what will then happen is we are talking about this particular case where the IBM stock price is actually. Uh, come down to dollar thirty. So this is the amount of money that I'm going to make in 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 case the stock price actually falls below the strike price of dollar fifty. If it reaches thirty, I'm going to make fifteen dollars. If it reaches uh, fifteen dollars, then I'm going to make thirty dollars. If it reaches five dollars, I'm going to make forty dollars. And if the company goes bankrupt, that the stock price reaches zero, then I'm going to make a net forty-five dollar profit. Other way of looking at it is: uh, first, take the zero price graph, that is the maroon graph, take the profit, and then deduct the price that you pay. So, uh, in case the company goes bankrupt, that is meaning the stock price going to zero. Uh, this thing would lead me to a profit of fifty dollars, but since we have paid five dollars as option premium, the net profit would be forty-five dollars. So either you can look at the maroon graph and then detect the net premium paid, or you can look at the net green graph for the actual uh, payoff amount. So this is how the put option is treated. However, let's now look at the uh, risk. Or the loss-making regions. What is the loss scenario in this kind of uh, long put option trading? In case you are going for shorting the IBM stock uh, at a price of dollar fifty, and you suppose your prediction is incorrect, and actually the price rises to dollar seventy, then in this case you are making a loss of only twenty dollars per share. Uh, in terms of percentage, it comes down to minus forty percent. But if you are buying IBM stock option with a strike price of 50 by paying the same option premium of dollar five, and uh, your prediction comes incorrect, and the IBM stock price reaches dollar seventy, then the problem is that your option premium goes to dollar zero, and hence you don't make any profit. But in terms of percentage loss, you are losing the entire hundred percent of option premium because you are going to lose this entire. Amount of dollar five which you have paid as an option. This is what is indicated in this figure. So here we are talking about the case of dollar seventy, uh, and since this particular the uh, IBM stock price has reached dollar seventy, you are going to lose this dollar five that you paid over here. So uh, anything above dollar fifty would result in a loss of your entire option premium. Irrespective of what value it reaches, as long as it is above dollar fifty, you are going to lose that entire amount. Your profit will come only when the stock price of IBM reaches uh, below dollar forty-five, because that is what is indicated by this break-even point. This is the zero line. The green graph is crossing the zero line at a value of dollar forty-five. So above dollar forty-five, net net, you are going to be in loss. 
below dollar 45 your profits will start flowing in and they will keep on increasing linearly as as the, the further the stock will fall the more profits you are going to make in terms of uh, losses you are going to have a fixed maximum loss of dollar 5